It's a dub in it. Production. We're learning for your ways. Learn from something. Subscribe, mother. Yeah, uh, if I could teach the whole wild world, then I would. Instead of focus on my people in the hood. Now look. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Dub Did It coming at you live with another video. And today I'm going to teach you how to get your Texas ID online. You don't even need your actual identification card. You don't need your birth certificate. You don't need to leave your house. All right, the first thing you want to go ahead and do is go to google.com, type in get your ID online in Texas. I right, want you to come to the Google page. Go ahead and scroll down until you find the official Texas government website. And you will know it's official by the .gov. All right, as you can see here, Texas.gov DPS driver's license. Click that link. All right. It's going to bring you to the next page. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. My internet's not slow. I'm supposed to have some pretty fast internet. But anyways, so you come up to this page. Don't pay attention to any of this stuff right here. I mean, you could read it if you want, but it's really not applicable in this situation. Um, so we go right here to the left side, and you can select renew, change address, or whatever. Um, just for argument's sake, let's hit renew. Okay, and right off the back, you'll see that one of the ways you can do it is online. Okay, so you go ahead and scroll on down, scroll on down, scroll on down, 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 down. Right here it says, began the online renewal process. Click that. Dude, what is up with my internet? Okay, then it's gonna say online or by phone. Pick the one that you want to do. In this case, we'll do the ID card. Okay, and... The only real requirement that you may need to have uh, complied with is the one where it says you renewed your ID card in person at a driver's license office last time. Or the last time you did this, if you did it online, you're not eligible, but then again, you wouldn't even need to be watching this video if that was the case. Okay, so anyways, um, what you're going to need is your current ID card, or this is the important part, your ID card number, your date of birth, the last four digits of your social security, and the audit number. Now, this is the important one. This is the fact, this is if you don't have a copy of your ID or your old ID, this is what used to throw people off. Okay, nowadays they change it to where you don't need that audit number to actually replace the card. Alright. So if you don't have that audit number, it's going to ask you for some other information. The one that almost got me was answering the four unique security questions. These are questions similar to what you'd see like on a credit check website where they ask you uh, about past addresses you had or past vehicles you drove are people that you're related or not related to. Um, of course, you're gonna need a valid credit card, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so once you're there and you're sure that you meet the requirements, which most people should, click yes. Okay, and then uh, it's gonna go ahead and tell you about the fees. If you're renewing a driver's license, with or without a change of address, it's 25 bucks. If you're renewing an ID, it's going to be 16 bucks. Now, if you're simply replacing a lost card or a lost driver's license, it's $11. Now, this is another one that I want you to pay attention to. If you don't have your audit number, they charge an extra $1.75. And then it brings you to the actual application or section where you fill in your information. Now, I already did this for you guys that haven't. This is where you're going to find your audit number. They have a nice little demonstration here. It's usually right here on the left side of your picture. Okay, so you start off at the top. Put your driver's license or ID number in. Date of birth. Audit number. If you don't know it, click that. Put your last four digits of your social security. And just follow the instructions from there. It's going to ask you a series of questions. Once you complete those questions, it's going to ask you for your payment. Uh, once the payment's processed, it'll tell you to go ahead and print out the uh, information that's on your screen and hold on to that because for the next 60 days or until you get your card, that's going to be your valid temporary 
ID. All right. Now, it doesn't take six days to get your card. I got my card in a period of maybe a week or two. So it works. But anyways, that's all I have for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you like and subscribe and all that other good stuff. Dub out. What the gangsters do. No one to help us. No one to teach us. Damn sure work.